nationally recognized dietitian, certified diabetes educator, and best-selling author Jill Weisenberger joined us for Divabetic's recent free virtual cooking party on Zoom. Jill shared her favorite healthy soup recipes, suggested new flavor combinations like spinach and cinnamon to perk up meals, and answered questions on nutrition. Here's a sneak peek at what you missed. Tonight I wanted to make an Italian one, so I used just an Italian herb blend. That, I used a tablespoon of that, and I guess I put it away, but I also added a little rosemary because I just was in the mood. It was kind of an afterthought. I threw the rosemary in there, but I did it with um, just packaged vegetable broth, and because this is not low sodium, I did use low sodium canned tomatoes. So not, not uh, drained. So I wanted the liquid from the, the no salt canned tomatoes. Because it's Italian, I went with a white bean. So I added that. And then I added um, green beans that I chopped. So they're fresh green beans. And I just chopped them a little bit bigger than bite size and some zucchini. So it's whatever you have in your house. So if I had some spinach, I would add that right at the end. Like I added the zucchini and the green beans close to the end, but not exactly at the end, but the last few minutes, right before I logged on to Zoom is when I added that. Um, the whole thing you can make it in like a half hour. That's, it really doesn't take more than like 20 minutes on the stove but you can leave it longer. Um, and then I am going to finish this one off with a little fresh Parmesan. I'm gonna grate just a little fresh Parmesan on, on top of it. And this will be my dinner tonight. But um, like maybe if I were making this for, for, for friends, boy, that would be nice to cook for friends again. Um, I might add some parsley or some chopped scallions or something just to make it look prettier. But um, put on, I just put on the Parmesan just a little bit for that. So if I wanted to make the same soup, but I wanted to make it more um, like a Mexican style, I probably would still start with the carrots and the onions, maybe not the celery, but I'd probably add bell peppers. And I'd do the garlic, but instead of Italian seasonings, I'd add chili powder and oregano. I have um, sriracha in my refrigerator, so maybe I would use that. And instead of using the white beans, I'd probably use the kidney beans. Looking for a fun way to socialize without putting your diabetes wellness at risk? Join me, the happy healthcare host, Mr. Diva Bedek, for Diva Bedek's next free virtual outreach program on Zoom. Visit eventbrite or divabedek.org for details.